What's going on? Real Estate Randy here with another video for you today. Today's video is going to be six DIY projects you can do yourself to increase the value of your home. Now, if that sounds good, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. DIY project number one is a mini bathroom makeover. So you're basically going to take your secondary bathroom and you're going to do a mini makeover for about $650 for it, okay? I chose Home Depot as the vendor. I am not being paid by Home Depot. This was just something that is pretty much all around the country. So it can be used by any one of you home sellers who are looking to do this mini makeover. You can get you a mini vanity for about um, around $300. And then um, for me personally, I'm seeing that the new trend is everybody's loving the black hardware. So you wanna change out the hardware that's on there and get the black knob and the black uh, pull uh, handle on there and then you want to get a black faucet on it that makes it sexy sleek and modern and it makes it just pop with the white and the black and then you have the mirror that you can get for under a hundred bucks DIY project number two is paint your home. You will be surprised how much life you put into your home by just adding a brand new coat of paint. Okay, according to Zillow Research, just by painting the front door black, you can add up to $6,000 worth of value. Now that's crazy that you can buy you a $50 can of paint and then add $6,000 worth of value. So paint the interior and you definitely want to do the interior, but if you can, if it's, it's, if it's in a reasonable price for you, you also want to paint the exterior to add that pop. If you're not going to paint the exterior, at least do a pressure wash so that way you can get some of that brightness back because of the fact of the matter is natural wear and tear, it's going to dole out your paint and you could possibly help that with doing some pressure washing as well. DIY project number three is updating your fixtures. Now I'm talking about your door handles and door knobs. I'm talking about your faucets throughout the whole entire home. I'm talking about some light fixtures, okay? You'd be surprised how much this can change the feeling of the room. Especially if you have your white doors and you have the black handles and knobs on there, it just pops out and it looks brand new because that is the new trend that is everybody's craving for right now okay so think about changing your fixtures in your home and your hardware DIY project number four upgrading your curb appeal okay one of the first things that a buyer notices whenever they look at homes is the curb appeal this is going to determine the mood of this buyer as they're looking at your home one of the things that I've noticed with working with buyers throughout the years is that once they have a negative feeling towards the home just by walking in before walking in they start to nitpick every little thing throughout the home. They're convincing themselves that this home is not for them. So something as easily as adding some flowers into your flower pot, making some color in there, and then just well maintaining the grass, the lawn, and any bushes and trees can change the whole entire game for you, okay? So upgrading your curb appeal. DIY number five, replacing your flooring. Now, look, I understand this is not in everybody's budget. I get that and I totally understand. I just want you to know that there is a better opportunity for you if you change your floors to some vinyl planking, some hardwood, or some tile. Obviously, your market area is going to dictate which material you use. You're not gonna spend crazy money for hardwood if in your area, 98% of people don't have hardwood. So you want to be smart with your market area to figure out which floor you want to use. But I can tell you right now, most buyers walk into a home and see your 15 year old stained carpet, which also holds odors, are going to be turned off by this. So if it's something that you can't afford to do, I would redo your flooring. You can do it yourself. It's a weekend project depending on the size of your house, but it's definitely something that can be handled on your own or you can hire a professional to do that as well. DIY project number six, popcorn ceiling. I'm sorry, they gotta go. I have never heard, not never, ever, never have anybody ever came up to me and say, hey bro, find me the house with popcorn ceilings. That's my thing. I need that popcorn ceiling. Nobody likes them. Get rid of it. I'm sorry. It just dates the home. It makes it feel old. And then when I, I'm in a house and it feels old, all I'm thinking about is all the old home problems. 
Get rid of your popcorn ceilings. You're also competing with new construction homes. I mean, their new construction communities are popping up everywhere, even in older communities that you didn't think was possible that they could even fit a new construction community and they're popping up in there and they're putting in 20 some odd houses. So you are competing with new construction. Get rid of the popcorn ceiling. All right guys, so that was the six DIY projects you can do yourself to increase the value of your home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please as always like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, if you have anything that you want me to cover, put it down in the comment box. As always, my contact information is in the description as well. And um, if you are in the Austin or San Antonio markets and you're looking to buy or sell, holla at your boy. And with that being said, I hope you have a great day and always remember to stay.